But I can't see that happening. He's got to have at least three, three comsat centers right now. These players are good enough that they're going to be on top of that sort of thing, comsetting all over the damn place um, to see where people are expanding. Um, so yeah, and, and it looks like he was aware of this one, actually, because he's taking, sending a few glass in here to take care of this command center. Probably going to get canceled. Um, in the meantime, though, up magic with the definite, definite mobility advantage, I think. Well, actually, no, never mind. He's just lost another dropship there. Oh, he loses two dropships. And uh, looks like he's going to... Oh, I'm sorry, Up Magic is going to take that battle. He's going to take that spot. He's going to be able to finish that command center. He just lost all of his dropships except, I think, one. And uh, so that's going to that's going to hurt him a lot here. It looks like uh, for Gigi's going to lose some dropships too, but he's in the meantime, he's going to destroy some of these turrets, and he might even be able to take out this base because Up Magic has lost his dropships, so he's not going to be able to transfer troops over to this location as quickly. So, um, wow, he does have a couple dropships there, it looks like there. So um, might be able to hold this off. Um, no, but you can see uh, see on this mini map there that for GG is really low on bases compared to Up Magic right now. Up Magic has a lot bigger economy, so I don't think Up Magic is going to mind too much um, taking that hit there at that northern base of his. He's got a lot of a lot of bases going there. Um, yeah, things looking very very good for Up Magic basically. You can see him there, and this is his first person view mode, trying to set up some turrets around as a perimeter. Excuse me, to trying to trying to go against the drops there. For GD, has a ton of tanks there, uh, but they're not really in a position to do a lot of harm at the moment. Um, we'll see how that goes. For GD, it looks like he's going to lose his command center, but like I said, I, I don't think it's going to hurt. Well, actually, no, uh, that kind of puts him down. He's built up his dropships again. We'll see how many forces are actually inside there. Um, like I was saying earlier, I, I started to say this, and I do this all the time. I start to say something, and I get distracted. But um, mobility is, is absolutely key in uh, Terran versus Terran and basically being able to move your forces around and you and also being able to drop on top of each other's forces you saw how uh, they were doing that earlier dropping Goliaths on top of the tanks while they're in siege mode um, really effective way of killing off siege tanks basically you could drop stuff right on top of them because uh, obviously if the um, if, if, if a unit is too close to the siege tank, it won't be able to. The siege tank won't be able to attack it here. Up Magic coming in for an attack here, dropping a few dropships full of units here, and uh, for Gigi's forces a little bit out of place. And really, because this is kind of a ballsy attack, it's not really where you might expect him to attack. It's not kind of a periphery. It's really close to his main there. Um, well, I guess it is kind of periphery in a sense. But anyway, but at the same time, for Gigi dropping on his main, if he loses some factories here, okay, never mind. He's probably not going to lose any factories. He's probably going to be able to hold this off pretty easily, but. But that was a really uh, uh, bold move. Dropping some more forces in here, actually. He may... Oh, someone, something just blew the hell out of that tank right as it fell out of the dropship there. Um, wow, okay, so Up Magic getting some reinforcements in just in time. Uh, the tank's coming in. He's able to shell those those forces back, and I don't think this is going to cause him a whole lot of trouble uh, in the long run. For uh, Wow, Up Magic losing... Oh, ow, ow, oh, ah, oh my god. He just lost like nine or two. Oh my god, he lost all those SUVs. Oh, that's where there's... More fire. I was wondering where he was getting all this damn firepower from him. It was over the ridge. Those tanks were, were shelling over the ridge there. And Up Magic in a little bit of trouble here. He's having to pull back his forces here. He's at least got those that last tank out of his main. But uh, in the meantime, he's had to pull a lot of forces back. He just lost a lot of SCVs on that. Um, <laughs> he tried to pull. He thought there was only like two tanks there. And he pulled off 9 or 10, 12 SCVs to attack him. And uh, it was oh oh, dropship goes down. And probably had a couple tanks in there too. Um... Anyways, but yeah, he pulled off several SCVs and trying to attack it, and there was just more tanks there than he expected. And those those SCVs just got slaughtered, absolutely slaughtered. For Gigi coming in for for another drop here, and uh, wow, if if for Gigi can keep up uh, this kind of harassment, really, Up Magic needs to kind of do some counter drops here in order to take things out. It looks like he did take out that base uh, completely because for Gigi was mostly concentrating his troops on uh, that attack on <laughs> Up Magic's base while Up Magic. <laughs> they're showing you did I didn't even realize Up Magic pulled all of his SCVs out off his main supply line and he ended up with no oh, oh another battle going in there. Oh the dropship's getting caught off guard there and it looks like one dropship oh barely barely survives another dropship goes two dropships go down the other one almost dead. If he lost that third dropship that would have been absolutely and oh my god that guy is totally <laughs> Totally, <laughs> he was like, it was like his grandmother was riding in that dropship. He's like, oh, thank goodness it survived. Um, <laughs> wow. So for Gigi defending pretty well over here, it looks like wow, that was absolutely critical for Gigi taking out those dropships. Um, 
like I said, mobility absolutely key here. And now for now, Up Magic has actually moved his tanks into that that um, no, mineral set of mineral nodes there. And uh, Up Magic really needs to part, start pumping some SCVs out though. And he's got some SCVs pumped out there, but he's not actually using them. Um, he needs to kind of spend a few seconds putting some stuff into his economy. I think. Um, looks like he's basically kind of not macroing very well because he's concentrating on his attacks. Um, He's macroing decently, though. I mean, he's getting the, the forces up, but I mean, he needs to pay a little bit of attention to his economy, I think, unless maybe uh, for some reason he has some minerals stored up or something like that, but I don't think that's the case. Anyways, uh, he is getting some SCVs on, on his lines, though, at least. You saw that his main does have four or five SCVs on it now, but um, uh, yeah, when they showed, went around showing his, his expansions, it looks like he didn't have a lot of uh, SCVs mining at those expansions. Uh, so, oh, 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 is one of those dropships still damaged? Oh, he put the dropship that was that was low damage in first. That was a very good move on his part. Um, but uh, for, uh, sorry, Up Magic is going to counter drop right on top of that drop forces. It looks like for GG lost another dropship. Wow, Up Magic doing excellent job. Oh, doing excellent job targeting the dropships. And wow, for GG uh, gives up there and Up Magic taking the winner's game. Excellent, excellent play on his part. Wow, very very well done on Up Magic's part. I I did I did definitely call him to to, to take this uh, this grouping. And uh, so Up Magic doing an excellent showing and two owing his group. And uh, Up Magic is going to advance to um, the next round of the MSL. And uh, he really deserves it, honestly. He put up a really good fight against Jadong. He put up a really good fight against Bisu in the OSL. And then I mean he went from in the fourth place match to getting knocked out of the ODT by Luxury, who he didn't even have to face in this uh, set. So. Uh, I hope he does pretty well.